a lot of things were different about this country and the place where I come from. But I think choosing the University of Glasgow was one of the best decisions I made. I think it was the step that made me from a student that reads books and papers to coming closer to being a true scientist. This is the longest running MSc in medical genetics in the United Kingdom and it's different from many of the other MSc's in that we use a wide variety of teaching methods. It looks like a horizontal pattern. Traditional lectures, small group tutorials, problem-based learning, taught laboratory sessions. It was theoretical and practical and there were a lot of things that related to each other like having a lecture and then having a problem session, uh, so maybe a very did group work. Back home, we are, you are totally alone. Uh, you just to go to the lecture and do everything by yourself. I was so frightened at the beginning that I can't, I can't really speak in front of many people. But at the end, it was the best part of the master course because I developed my communication skills. The, the ability to make a PowerPoint presentation. Uh, and also my team working skills because I never really had a chance to work with other people so and I learned so much from the experience. One of the problems with genetics is that patients don't come with a diagnosis. They have very, very rare diseases and it was a great skill was required in actually reaching the diagnosis. I think the most important thing that I gained from the course was that I approached what we call critical thinking. For me, this is the most important thing in science, and if you want to be called true scientist, you have to be able to approach the scientific ideas, break them down, uh, link the data in your own way, and draw your own outcome. It's critical thinking, really, because not all information are right. Each information, maybe there is something contrary with it. I can accept this and this, and also I can criticize all of them. The dissertation in medical genetics, NIC, is very, very important. It's where you demonstrate the research skills that you have learned. A lot of people associate a dissertation purely with laboratory work, but in fact, an awful lot of science is based on your reading and understanding of the scientific literature. Overall, about a third of our students went on to do PhD, employed within research science. About a third have chosen to enter the National Health Service and a number of other students have chosen to enter a variety of careers such as in industry with the drug companies or in medical publishing. A very important part of our MSc is the support that you will get from staff. Uh, the issue with the language difficulty uh, in the beginning. Uh, so having support from the staff in all the issues, social issue also has helped me to, to continue and get a good mark in the course. Of course I had to adjust to a new style of living, living with other people, people from different countries. I also had to deal with things on the course, things that I had never done before. But I think, um, you know, with help from everyone and particularly from the staff, I um, just grew into it. Me, maybe I didn't find this before, this style of uh, communication between teaching staff and students, but it's uh, a family uh, family life in this course. We learn together, we uh, eat together, we also criticize each other. So when I have idea and I want to discuss this idea, I can find somebody because he know me and he know my thinking. It's really demanding and your brain has to be here 100%. But the good thing is that if you work hard and you know that you're, you have continuous essays and assessment and essays and assessment again, but the good thing is that when you manage to get the degree, you feel so happy that it makes for all the torture. <laughs> I know how to choose this idea, how to criticize it, and also I know how to find solution. I know how to express my idea in the academic way. Confidence, speaking in genetics, what I was afraid in the beginning. I experienced different techniques in the lab. Now I will use it in uh, my PhD. It helped me develop different kinds of skills and not only my academic ones.